everybody, this is Dana Mamasaro, and I wanted to give you a couple of financial tips. The finance area has really come up quite interestingly in the balance survey. So I thought what I'd do is uh, make sure that I gave you a couple of tips before too much longer. The first tip I'd like to give you, and I'm sorry that this is a little bit later than I would like, but start saving for Christmas now. And the way that I do that is that every page day that I have. I take X percent of my salary and I put it into a special account ready for Christmas. It's also my play money and my, oh my gosh, I can't live without that money. Um, so it's a really good habit to get into. And I know you're saying, gosh, uh, I can only just survive on what I have right now. That's fair enough. We all have that issue. So the next challenge I have for you is where could you cut that percentage in your daily spending in order to be able to put some away. So that's the first thing. If you only have X amount of money, it's how you distribute it. The other financial tip I have is to be really aware about how much time you actually spend looking after your finances. If you only spend as much time or as little time as it possibly takes just to pay your bills and then that's the end of your problem for the month, then you may want to spend just a little bit more time trying to work out how you can do things a little bit better than you have been doing. Um, maybe put yourself on some sort of budget. Uh, we all hate that world, and I hate it more than anybody else. Um, so what I try to do is when I need to find more money so that I can do different things, I, I sort of look at my grocery bill and I look at things like that to have a look at, okay, um, where can I just help myself a little bit. I'm a really bad impulse buyer. So when I go to the market to go and buy stuff, you know, I'll pick up all sorts of stuff I really don't need. I've got cupboards full of food that I haven't eaten. And so when I want to save to get just a little bit of extra money for something, I will stop doing that. I will just only buy what I have on my list and really work very hard to do that. So just try those couple of things and see what a difference it makes. What I find as well, and here's my third financial tip, that's the one I wanted to give you, is starting next year, or even starting now if you're strong enough, um, have a look at your bills that you pay regularly. Uh, maybe you do it online or however you do it. And let's say that in my case, you know, my annual, my sort of monthly um, amount that I pay on high on electricity, I say hydro for those people in Canada, uh, that I pay for electricity uh, might be, let's say, $108 a month. I don't pay $108 a month. I put through a payment plan that goes through every month where I pay probably 115 Now you're wondering, why do I pay that much more than I need to? Well, the reason I do that is so when it gets to December, um, I hopefully will have built up enough of a credit in there that I can get through December without paying those sort of bills. Does that make sense? So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that December and January are not really difficult for me. I think a lot of us spend a lot of money in December and then try and sort of scrape through January. I do the opposite. I try and free up December so that I can actually live much better in January each year. So, three tips. How about that? All right, have a good week, everybody. Please remember to give your age, sex, and country if you're asking questions, just so that I can make it appropriate in the reply. And also, if I haven't replied to your question, really sorry, the chances are I've missed it somehow. Please send it again. For those of you who want to find out what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, please go to dearmamasal.blogspot.ca and read about what I'm doing there. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please share it with people because we're aiming here just to help more and more people. And if you're new to the channel and have enjoyed the video, please thank the person who sent you here. My big hugs as usual and many, many thanks. This is Mama Sal saying bye for now.